Hi, uh, right, after my magnificent effort with this desk that took me days and that cost me a lot of sleep, I've got to finish um, the chair, which I had to go with it. It was originally a pine chair, and all I've done so far is cover it in um, a couple of coats of sugar puff. So I've now got to start marking it off um, in a similar fashion so that it will match and go with the desk that we've created. So once I've put the lines in, and the reason that I covered it with sugar puff is I started to draw lines on the pine and I couldn't see it. So I thought it'd be much easier to mark off and line, even though some parts of it clearly aren't going to be sugar puff. Um, it would be easier to line it once it was covered in white. So I'm going to line it and then I'll show you what it looks like. All right. Right, so I spent some time, and it did take some time, with a ruler and pencil marking off this chair. I've marked, as you can see, um, in alternate squares across. That's to help me know what colour I, I'm going to paint it. So I've done lots of different shapes, stripes, thin stripes, diamonds. And I've left this side completely plain, because I think I'm going to do this side, flamenco. Um, to put a bit of colour to the piece. Um, I'm still going to break up the natural breakups of the chair, so I haven't done any lines down there. Um, so I'm going to crack on and start painting, and I'll come back to you when I've um, done a bit more and show you how I'm getting on. All right, thank you. Right, so as you can see, I've completed quite a lot of the painting. It actually went a lot quicker than the desk, which is a really. Um, I've done, and the whole point of my painting child is that you diamonds here, I've got stripes here, I've got slanty lines here, I've got thin stripes here, etc. So, and actually together it all works quite well. I've done a red leg here, I've got a black leg to do here and at the back, and I've got to do the gold feet which are kind of in keeping with Mackenzie Child. So I just want to show you how I'm going to mix up the gold fanchine. I've put a fair amount of the powder into my pot. Chalky's going crazy here because there's lights flashing everywhere and he's a bit addicted to light. Right, but in the past I've often put a lot of finishing coat in um, but for the purpose of these feet where I want to paint neat gold I'm only going to put a really little bit in to make quite a thick paste. So, can you see it's... I'm literally just kind of putting enough liquid in to dissolve it. That way, when I paint the feet, it will go on pretty solid light paint and I won't have to do loads of coats. So, when I've finished that, we'll come back to you and I'll speak to you then. All right, thank you. Right, hiya. I was going to come back to you when I'd finished painting, but I've in the end decided to come back to you now, which is basically when it's all finished. I'm going to explain what I've done. I, I already told you that I was going to do the painting and the gold, and that's come out lovely. I then put a whole coat of clear French sheet wax all over it to protect it, and I've then used a DIY store dark wax over the top, and it looked really dirty and really messy. But that was the plan. And then I used more Frenchy clear wax and a rag to rub it off. And it's left all these lovely antique lines, which I really like the effect. So that's what I've got. If you want to see that in action, um, you can go to the original video that I did of the desk because I'm actually showing you how to do that. Um, but I didn't think you really needed to see it again today. So. I hope you've enjoyed my chair. It kind of looks a little bit cross between uh, Mackenzie Child and Alice in Wonderland, but I kind of like that. That's kind of cool. Um, thank you so much for watching. Please continue to support me. Follow my page. Subscribe to my channel. My page is www.facebook.com forward slash The Emporium Furniture, which will take you straight to Furnishing Emporium. Thank you. Until the next time.